Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Joe Bacall and this channel is called Throwing It Sideways. We're talking tire testing today and tire testing in a little bit different way. You know, what is a professional test driver all about? What do we look for? You know, kind of behind the scenes of tire testing, right? There's five things that, that I look for um, when it comes to testing and one is location. You know, it's so important to have the correct location from a test track and things like that. Number two is vehicle. Vehicle's gotta be dialed in, and we're gonna get into that in a second. Number three is your objective measurement tools. What's in the car? How do we use them? Number four, how many tires do you actually need to test? And five, it, you know, what's your environment like? Is, is the weather correct? Is it change? All these are major factors. Go ahead and click that seatbelt because we're going for a ride. So hey guys, let's talk about some pretty cool stuff when it comes to tire testing. First of all, why do you need a test track or proving ground? I mean, you've heard about these things. I'm sure some people may have been to them, but they're kind of like NASA and the fact that they're hard to get into. Um, test tracks are super important for really good data and here's why. You've got all types of ride surfaces, handling surfaces, wet, dry off-road. I mean, you have everything in one location but why it's so important is consistency. Hitting these surfaces at the same speeds, doing everything in a controlled area, one after another, exactly the same. That's the best way to see differences between one tire and another. That's why the test track is so important. So number two is the vehicle itself. So when you're tire testing, it's so important to use the same vehicle throughout the entire test. You can't change vehicles. Um, and you want to use a new vehicle if you can. And the reason you want to use a new vehicle because the bushings are new, you know, there's no slop in the steering, everything's just super tight, super clean and dialed in. So really the only thing you're focusing on is your tire from one to the next to the next. That's why it's so important, you know, from a vehicle standpoint to use the same one. So guys, let's get into number three. Number three is objective measurement tools. Is it really a tool? Not really, it's actually a heads up display. And uh, as a test driver, we use this heads up, heads up display for speed, uh, acceleration, you know, braking, lateral G. These are all different GPS based numbers that we get as drivers real time to see differences between one tire and the next. At the end of our test, we'll correlate some of that information with our subjective evaluation which gives us really good data. So when it comes to number four, tires, and you know, how many sets do you need to test, right? Well, you think, oh, you just throw one set on the car, you run all the different areas on the test track with one set, well, that probably works, right? Not really, and here's why. If you take a set and you run dry handling, let's say first, and you're just scrubbing the heck out of the tires, you're oh, you know, oversteer, this and that, you get done, those tires are pretty much cooked, right? Just destroyed. You can't take that same set and go ahead and run wet handling or wet uh, stopping. Um, I mean, you need a nice, fresh, crisp set for, for those activities. Therefore, we use multiple different sets of the same exact tire, same specs, everything, um, to get good data. So let's talk about number five, your environment. You know, what's around you? What's going on? Are you consistent with, of course, your data, but it's gonna change really quick if you got weather coming in from a wind standpoint, dust, rain, I mean, you name it. Anything that changes your environment when you're testing changes your data. So just, uh, it's just these little things that, you know, kind of go into testing at a different level and you just have to do it right or it just doesn't work. So if I'm hired to do some tire development for, you know, different manufacturers, um, this is kind of how my day starts. So I get to the test track. I may have, let's say, four sets of tires. We've got our control tire. The control tire is the hero tire or the target tire. That is a tire we're comparing everything else to. So I, that is my control tire. I have that and let's say three competitors. So I'll go out on the test track. I'll kind of warm up. 
I'll hit the oval, oval track and, and different things, kind of move the vehicle around a little bit um, in the control tire. I gotta make sure I really understand that control tire um, in all surfaces. But what I normally do is I'll go ahead and do um, handling first. So I'll go to the, to, the, to the track, do my dry handling, run through all that, and get a really good feel um, how that works. One thing that's super important is I don't take a lot of time in between uh, in between sets. I don't take breaks or anything like that. I go right, as soon as I change those tires, I go right back on the track. And the reason I do that is so it's fresh in my mind. I, I, I remember everything, the way it feels. I do the same inputs, same speeds, same surface. You know, everything is pretty much a carbon copy from one tire to the next. That's how you see clear differences between one and the other. When I get back, I actually will, will, will do another different uh, surface from maybe, maybe it's wet stopping distance or wet, uh, wet handling. Um, we, I also do ride comfort on a lot of different types of surfaces, um, do double lane change work. So there's just a ton of different things that I look for on road. And then let's say it's an all terrain or a mud terrain, then I'll jump in the dirt from, a, from like a dirt road or rally course style or getting into some actual mud or sand or technical rock crawling. We start doing that, those types of testing as well. So um, it's pretty involved. It takes a lot of concentration. Um, I'll give you an example. If I go into a corner at 60, 70 mile an hour on, on pavement into a, let's say a right hander on the, on the handling track, and I just throw the thing into the corner, I'm paying attention to the vehicle, the balance. Is it set up right? Is the steering feel? I mean, I just start breaking the car down. I, I literally zoom in and all the different components as this, everything's kind of violent on the outside. But as a test driver, you have to be comfortable in that environment. You gotta be a trained driver and be able to drive at the limit, but evaluation needs to come first, if that makes any sense. I hope you get a little bit out of this, uh, this information here that I shared with you. This is literally like, you know, kind of undercover, you know, behind the scenes stuff. If you're not an actual test driver from an OEM side, you know, you just, it's just not something you're used to hearing. There's a little bit tricks to the trade for sure, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I want you to subscribe. Go ahead and click that right over there and uh, leave me some comments below. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, look out for that next one.